In John, the second chapter, the Bible says that Jesus and his disciples were invited to a wedding. Now the wedding was in the town of Cana, and that's where we are right now. What you can see behind me right here is the city of Cana. It's the modern city of Cana. And it has all of its, you know, the, the houses that are modern and all the stores and all the traffic and everything here. And uh, many people come here uh, all throughout the year to get married here because of, of, of what is spoken of in John, the second chapter of Jesus turning the water into wine here in Cana. In fact, uh, that's not the only miracle that Jesus did here. Uh, it's also in John, the fourth chapter, there was the miracle of a noble man who had a son that was sick. And that happened here in Cana. And he came and said, Jesus, uh, you know, uh, would, you, would you heal my son? And Jesus, after a little bit, told him, sure, go ahead, your son's healed. And so he went on his way. And when he went on his way, he met his servants, came to him and said, your son's healed. He said, well, when was he healed? They said, well, yesterday about such and such time. And that was the exact time that Jesus had told him to go his way and be healed. You might also remember Cana out of John, the 21st chapter. This is the city that one of the disciples, Nathaniel, was from. Nathaniel was from the city of Cana. Now, looking at the new city of Cana here, uh, you, would, you, you, know, you, you can almost get lost in all the, all the rush. But this new city, and even where people come to these wells around the city, that they'd say, this is the well that Jesus drew the water, you know, had, 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 had the service draw the water out of. Uh, that's, that's really not true. A lot of tour groups come here and see these things. But if I could draw your attention right down this little valley here, down before you get into that next valley. There's a valley that runs between two little hills here, Cana being built, New Cana being built on the right here, you're on your right, and just out, I don't know if, if the camera can pick it up or not, but there's a plateau out there just before it falls off into the bottom of the valley, and the bottom of the valley out there where you may can see from time to time cars going back and forth on a road. Now one step up from the very bottom of the valley on this little plateau, uh, it's, it's, it's kind of, maybe you can see a road going through it. It's kind of a little flat place. That I am told by some very learned professors, that is the site or right around the site right there of the old city of Cana. That would have been the city that would have existed during the period of Jesus. The new city has since moved through the years and the decades and, and, and the, the centuries and has moved up this hill, but that is the site of the old city. And if you go down there and you can find a, a, a well down there, that would have been the city well. That would have been the town where the nobleman met Jesus. That would have been the town where, where uh, Nathaniel was from, Cana, Cana of Galilee. I want to thank you so much. I'm Ron Hammonds, and this is Postcards from the Bible, here from the Galilee. God bless you from the city of Cana, and we'll see you next time on another Postcard from the Bible.